if you talk all the way real about America and try to have an open and honest dialogue conversation with white America, yep. then it would go to the fact, it would tear down the very foundation, the very fabric in which America, they said America was built on. America was not built on freedom. America was built on racism. And the backbone, the lifeline, the mm -hmm. economy of America was built on the backs of slaves. That is fact. Yep. And racism is so ingrained in America because, Skip, from the very first time when you brought those slaves over in 1619, you had someone to look down on. You robbed him of his given name. You robbed him of his dignity. You robbed him of his humanity. Mm -hmm. You told him he was less than. You treated him as less than. And then somehow you say, what? Mm -hmm. That America is what? America is how? He never, he never received that. You got 250 years of free labor. Yep. 250. Because, Skip, let me tell you how this works, Skip. Mm. When you hire someone to do something, either you can't do the job or you don't want to do the job. So which is it? So as America was thriving, mm -hmm. who was doing the work? The workers, it wasn't you. Mm. Not only were they working in the field, they were taking care of your kids before they could take care of their own. Mm. So this, this notion that America would... Uh huh? White people, they, we did all this. No, you didn't. Skip, and, 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 and then you have to look. The greatest purveyor of racism and violence is the American white man. No race of people have suffered more on American soil than the black. No one. To this day. Mm. So you had two... I mean, you, you could argue the Native Americans... The, 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 skip. Yeah. They weren't enslaved for 250. No, no they were not. Now, it, they, it, they were just... Murdered often and their homes taken from us. Like, we, that's what I happened. Got it. Up. I got it. And I'm just saying, from ballot. Yeah. Yes. And the thing was, Skip, and they still did it. And they did it. Yeah. See, guess what they did? So they've been stealing and looting since the inception of America. True. So when you talk openly and honestly mm -hmm. about how what they did yep. to the American black, and they was like, oh, get over that. That was so long ago. That's ingrained. Mm. Years and years, Skip, where you don't have any income. So great-grandfathers had, had sons and sons and sons that had nothing. They had no wealth. While they were passing it down from generation to generation, he was a slave owner. His son was a slave owner. His son became a slave owner. Mm -hmm. His son became a slave owner. You see how that wealth kept going down the line? Mm -hmm. Well, we were having to start from scratch and Skip because, you know, you couldn't read. A lot of these guys, they couldn't read. And if they caught you reading, they beat you. Or they killed you. Mm. So it was. It took us a long time, and those were the one happened to be the few that overcame. Yep. So if we have open and honest conversation about what America is and how America came to be, how do you tell the story without telling about the American slave and his significant role in American history? Mm. But they'll tell you about George Washington. Mm. They'll tell George Washington had slaves. They'll tell you about Thomas Jefferson. He owned slaves, too. But he wrote the Declaration. You see, Skip? But he wrote the Declaration of Independence. What about them slaves that he had? Mm. What about... He you, even had kids with him. Uh, yeah, and that wasn't by choice. Sadly, yeah. him was 14 mm -hmm. years old. Yep. So, in other words, and he took across mm -hmm. state lines and across seas for a moral purpose. Mm -hmm. But that's Skip. I don't want to get too far to that. But you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I so, do. if we tell the story of America in its totality, truthfully, honestly, white America can't deal with that, Skip, mm. because they want to feel that we discovered it because we wanted a better way of life and we yada, yada, yada. But that's not it. Mm. And so you're going to have to rewrite history. All those history books will have to be burned. Instead of, instead of sidebars and footnotes, the Amer African-American would have to feature, be featured very prominently. And I don't know if America really wants to do that. Mm. I really don't. Have you ever sat down and had a conversation with a white man about race relations like you just no, had with because any time we talk about race, the first day they talk about, well, Shannon, what about the black on black crime? Mm. What about the violence in Chicago? You mm. see, it's always, Skip, I got to shift it. I don't want to talk about, uh, let's talk about this head on. Let's yeah. talk about what you did, how you robbed and mm -hmm. pillaged and looted uh, Native Americans of their mm -hmm. land and how you enslaved, brought men and women to, to, to cultivate this land, to grow, the, Skip, cooking. Who did all the cooking? Miss Mary ain't do no cooking. Mm. Who took care of the kids? She ain't take care of no kids. Mm. So, man, stop this. If, if you're going to tell the story, we're going to have to tell it in totality, Skip. Yeah. But we're going to have to tell it honestly. Mm. 
Mm. And the skip, that's for, that's 400 years. That's too much history. You're over 401 years. You don't really want to rewrite that kind mm -hmm. of history. So 